Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may preach with humility, with the heart, and not just with the lips. Come, Holy Spirit, that those who listen, listen with the heart, and not just with the ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. So, my dear brothers and sisters, it's uh, 171 days since March, sorry, 176 days since March 15, according to our calculations. Yeah, and we're still here. And somehow we're still gathering, even only through Zoom and online. We praise and thank God for this wonder of communication. Well, daming mga bago. Imagine if there was no internet this time. Uh, gadgets, no? And by the way, today the line here is so beautiful to, for us to, to listen to and, and to hear when the Lord says, For where two or three are gathered, Together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Somebody said, mm, Iba sa Pilipino, where two or three Filipinos are gathered together, there is picture taking there. Picture, picture again. And um, agree. Something beautiful to what the Lord says to us here today. If you agree on anything on earth and you pray for that and you agree to pray for that, it will be granted to you by my heavenly Father. This is the value of collective prayer. It's not enough to be praying alone. You pray with people. Incidentally, marami raw mga husbands nasa agribusiness because of the pandemic. Nag-shift na siya sa agribusiness. Ano man ang sabihin ng misis niya? Sabi niya, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Agree ako dyan. Agribusiness na siya. Ah, kumusta dyan sila classmate ko sa Iloko, si Egay Machas. Nasa agribusiness yan. Right, Brenda? By the way, maganda pong paalaala sa mga, sabi nga ng mga Ilocano, Father, agri, agrigrigat tibihag. <laughs> Ang hirap ng buhay ngayon. Agrigrigat kami, Father. Many people are really suffering. Affected po. You cannot imagine the day-to-day -day worries and, uh, you know, even depression of people who don't have job, walang trabaho, walang makain. So, napakahirap po. Agri-grigat tibiyag. Kaya sabi nga rin nila sa Ilocano, eh di agri, agrimedyo tayo. Remedyo. Huwag tayong uh, mawala ng pag-asa. May remedyo naman lahat eh, kahit pa paano. Don't give up. Huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. At sabi nga po ng mga Ilocano roon, doon din, saan tayo nga agriklamo? Agri. Agriklamo kang agriklamo. Walang mangyayari dyan. Agrimedyo ka na lang. Yung mga taong nagre-reklamo palagi, wala rin po. Eh. You're not moving anywhere. You're just making life more difficult for yourself and for the people around you. Stop complaining. Basta move on. At sabi rin po mga sa Ilocano, eh, agree. Agririri tayong arudan. Agririri means away-away nang nangyayari. Eh, because of the difficulty. No. Huwag po. Saan tayong agririri? Kapsat? Instead, agrik na. Let us feel each other's pains. Let us empathize and sympathize with each other. Let's feel. Ramdamin natin po 
ang paghihirap ng mga iba. May you never lose that feeling for other people. Just because you have pain, it doesn't mean you're already exempted from feeling the pains of other people. That's very selfish, Paul. And, sabi ni Pumelo Cano, agrigalo tayo. Agrigalo means give a gift. Continue to give your gift and praises to God. That's where prayer comes in, mga kapatid. Communal, collective prayer. Um, napakaganda pong nangyayari ngayon that families are praying. Ang ganda po that the children, the millennials, and the millennials come together at nagdadasal. Ang dami po mga feedback na even mga apo and all that, they're beginning to pray together with their papa, their mama, their lolo, their lola. Maganda pong paalaala, especially for those who have, you know, growing up kids, etc. You know, madalas may mga conflict ng mga teenager, yung tata, yung nanay. Pag mag-aaway, magdidiskusyon, matagal po yan eh. Minsan, it's not even productive. Why don't you try this? Kung mayroon kayong isyo, kayong kwan, mag-ama, mag-ina, whatever, why don't you just say, anak, sandali lang. Let's just pray. Magdasal tayo, ha? Let's pray. So let the Lord come into your problems, into your issues. Ito yung ibig sabihin po yung two or three gather together. Pagdasal natin ito. Napakaganda po yan. Start doing that so the children have an awareness there is a God greater than you and me. Agree. Mag-agree na lang instead na mag-argue. Ito po, maganda rin kwan. Uh, may mga mag-esawa. <laughs> away ng away. Naku, pag nag-away, walang non-stop eh. Unli. So finally, nagsawa na yung mag-asawa. They agreed na pag mag-aaway na, yun na, puputok na, alam na nila, ito nang patutunguhan nun. How to stop that? They agreed na pag galit na, sabihin ng isa sa kanila, let's pray the rosary, mami. O, rosary na. O sige, rosary. Labas ng rosary. Galit pa rin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, so Jehovah sa'yo. Hail Mary, Mary, God. Galit pa rin, siyempre. <laughs> Pero nung tumatagal, they become aware Naku, nandito si Lord sa gitna natin. So what happens usually is they focus now on the Lord and not on each other. They come down because their focus now is the presence of God, Mama Mary. So at the end of the rosary, kalmado na sila. Mag-usap na sila. Kung ganon, pero kung at the end of the rosary, galit pa rin. <laughs> Sabi niya, one more rosary, mami. O sige, one more rosary. Hail Mary, Paul of Grace. <laughs> Ayun. Pero hindi na sila nag Maybe something like that po. Madalas po kasi, yung stalemate, yung walang gumagalaw talaga, nobody gives in, try prayer. Subukan po natin. Let prayer work. It's all stop. Let's all be humble. We acknowledge the presence of God. That's it. Try it. Prayer is powerful. Ito pong sinasabi ng Panginoon sa ating lahat ngayon. Collective and intercessory prayers. That you pray also for other people. That's why ang dami pong nag- Mingi ng prayers. I also have been signing books these past weeks. Maraming mga nag-order even worldwide yung healing moments. I, I, I volunteered to really write the name of each one because you know, it's not just writing the name. Because I pray for that person, whoever he or she is. Kahit pa paano nakakarating yung dasal, di po ba? Yeah, uh, the whole 
I usually write all the intentions. I personally write them before the Mass, or yesterday, the day before. Handwritten and say a prayer. Because we believe in the power of prayer, let us not belittle prayer. Simple prayers po. And you know, kami po mga pare, we have the breviary, the office of the uh, of the hours and uh, official prayer of the church. What is this prayer all about? That I as a priest, I pray this prayer not just for my personal sanctification, but on behalf of all people all over the world, joining the whole church from the rising of the sun to its setting, that there is praise given to God. Sana po masimulan nyo sa family nyo yan. Maganda rin yan kasi pagka, pagka binabasa po yung psalm, maganda po yan. You know why? Kasi kuminsan, palagi na lang yung nagsasalita yung isa. Pero pag binabasa nyo na yung psalm, ah, palitan kayo. Isang paragraph sa kanya, isang paragraph sa'yo. Ganun. Anyway, these are little things that we should st- start start again in our in our in our families and wherever we are what a beautiful time to pray more and Marco Pati, please remember this we are looking forward to that time when we can gather again worship again especially on sundays for the past 176 days our churches are empty it's Simple, it's sad, and I know many of you would like to come, but sigilam po, mayroon sigurong rason ang lahat ng nangyayaring ito. And may you have that desire coming to church, may that be, when that happens finally, may you now realize how wonderful it is you we can gather and experience again the blessed sacrament in our midst. Sana po, we'll come back once more, with feeling. Yan, siguro ang gusto ni Lord na matuto tayo. Parang ang nangyari sa atin po ngayon, parang yung tinatawag nilang diaspora. Naikalat tayo, hiwahiwalay, but the Lord will gather us again, bring us back together as His people. Please be patient, do not give up, and don't lose that sense of joy and hope. Yan lang naman pong paulit-ulit ang sinasabi ko in all the messages. Just be joyful. Be hopeful. Uh, don't give up. Don't, don't allow yourself to be engulfed. Huwag kang magpapasakop ng kadiliman ng COVID-19 and the culture, yung kultura niya na magiging masungit ka na, magiging uh, depressed ka. Hindi po Inuulit ko nga po, September na. Ayan, burn na tayo. Si Joe Marichan is already singing Christmas in our hearts. Ang gandang paalaala po. If you look at the last line of that song, and let may the spirit of Christmas be always in our hearts. Hindi po sinabi doon na and may the spirit of Christmas be with us in December only. Always in our hearts. So simulan na po natin that spirit of Christmas which is simple. What's the most basic spirit of Christmas? Hope and joy and love. Now na, let's begin. I don't know Paano kaya magiging Pasko natin? We don't know eh. Cannot imagine Christmas siguro, no? Yung mga, si pag Christmas noon. Yan na, mga parties, mga shopping. Maybe it won't happen. Maybe. Walang gatherings. Maybe. But tuloy ang Pasko. Maybe, finally, finally, malalaman na natin kung ano talaga ang tunay na diwa ng Pasko. 
Christmas will go on even without the gatherings, without the tinsel town and then the and the parties. Oh, tuloy po na tuloy ang Pasko. So mga kapatid, let's continue this journey. But please don't forget the importance of prayer. Prayer and maybe a deeper kind of prayer now. Maybe a more simple prayer. That's what the Lord has done, is doing. He's fixing all of us. Yes, in everything that happens, there is a reason and there is a mission. Wow. Paskuna. Paskuna. Sintakyo. Ay, sintako. And please don't forget joy. And and uh, it's always good to remind ourselves, why are we doing these things? It's very good to remember. You know, when I get too busy, I have to remind myself, Lord, why am I doing all these things I am doing? Even now, marami po mga online masses, online recollections, and Wow, sabi ko, bumabalik yata yung lumang schedule ko. But I, I always you know, control it now. Pero it's a good reminder po, mga kapatid. Ikaw din, kapatid, when you're always too busy, you just pause and say, Lord, why am I doing all this? You know what I do? Many times, lalo na noon, pag ang dami na, naghihintay sa office, counseling ko na ano, I sometimes... At Intermission, shut the door, and I ask myself, Lord, why am I doing all this? And you know the answer? Boy. Boy. And you, boy? Because of you. Because of you. Yun. Ah, o nga pala. Okay, this is all because of you. Then, parang gumana then you see meaning again. Ah, okay. Ang problema marami sa atin, also, if I may add, you remember the boy, but you don't remember the feelings anymore. Yeah, it's because of you, pero wala ka ng feelings. Parang, I remember the boy. But I don't remember the feelings anymore. Yun. Sige lang, trabaho at lang, pero wala ka ng ka-feeling feelings. You know what has happened to many of us? You've lost that loving feeling. You've lost that loving feeling. Yan, relate na mga mga. Whoa, that loving feeling. Come on. You've lost the love and feeling, now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, relate na relate na yung mga kaedad ko niya. Yeah. Sisters and brothers, you have to go back and see what makes you go back to the basics. It is when you pray. May you find what is really important in your life and it is prayer that makes you see what is important yeah so we'll say to the Lord yes Lord let me try again yes we'll try again when we do in prayer it is in prayer where we really experience the real presence of God and who we really are. The more you pray, the more you know who God is and the more you know who you are. One with you in prayer. And looking forward to the time when we will gather again together to worship together two or three or more. And let me end you know what Jesus said also, when you ask for anything in my name. 
So we end all our prayers in Jesus' name. You know why? The name of Jesus is powerful. Anything you do in Jesus' name, that's by the power of the Holy Spirit, together with our loving Father, always end it in Jesus' name. Even the evil one runs away pag nadinig niya yung name na Jesus. So I invite all of us now just to bow our heads and bring our prayers, thanksgiving prayers, petition prayers, our collective prayers. We bring it all with confidence and we know that God is with us. He listens to us. He understands us. And He is with us always. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. And so, today, we profess our faith again. This is what we believe in. And we profess our faith and pray. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of